Hi, this tutorial is a request from a subscriber. He wants to know how to create double exposure effect in GIMP. And I'm going to start by saying that there is more than one way to do this. One of the ways, for example, is to make sure that the image of the person is above the image of the cityscape or the image that you want to blend with the person. And then you can choose the eraser tool, make sure you have an alpha channel on the top image and then reduce the opacity to let's say just 20 select the brush and start painting over to uncover the image below and this way you can blend them and choose where to apply the effect and where to leave the image the way it is now i'm going to press ctrl z to undo this and show you another way to do this effect first i want to make the background here white so i'm going to grab the Fuzzy select tool, click here to make a selection, then I'm going to switch the foreground and background colors, then I can use control comma or go to the edit menu, fill with the foreground color to fill with white, then control shift A to deselect, next I'll grab the rectangle select tool and make a selection here, and again control comma to fill with white, control shift A to deselect, now I'm going to grab the move tool, select move the active layer, click, hold down the control key and place this around here. Next I'm going to go to the layer menu, layer to image size, again the rectangle select tool, make a selection here, control comma to fill it, control shift A to deselect. Next I want to desaturate both images, so go to colors desaturate and I'm going to use the average option then click OK then I'm going to make the other layer active again go to colors desaturate average and click OK next I want to move the layer of the cityscape on top so I'm going to make sure it's active and click on this option and then go to the mode and select soft light there's some areas that we need to remove with the brush tool and white color so let's select it and start painting and i also want to remove some of the hair because it doesn't look very good and this can take up to five minutes so i'm going to pause here all i'm going to be doing is just resizing the brush and using the white color to paint so after i'm done there is two more things that i can do First, I can position the image of the cityscape uh, inside the image uh, of the, this woman by using the move tool. And again, I um, have the option move the active layer selected. Make sure I've selected the cityscape and I can just grab it and move it around. Position it anywhere I want. And once you like the way it looks you can go ahead and select the layer menu layer to image size and another thing that you can do is you can increase the effect by duplicating this layer with the cityscape and you see this instantly increase the effect and if you think that it's too much and you want a little bit less you can control that with the opacity slider here for example I'm going to type 50 and you see how this looks there is one more thing I want to show you that I think it will make the effect more interesting if I want to move both uh, cityscape layers here I will click here and these chains will appear and this way I'm going to transform both layers and again with the move tool I want to position this once I'm done I want to make the bottom layer with the woman invisible for a moment so I'll click here and you see the layer with the cityscape I'm going to make it active then use the fuzzy select tool and just click here this will make a selection then I'll make this layer visible again also I'll make it active and just use control comma to fill with white color then control shift A to deselect and I think it will be a good idea if we change the opacity of the top layer to 100 to make the buildings more visible 
and I'm going to zoom in and if there are some leftovers for example like here you can choose the brush to adjust the size of the brush make sure the bottom layer is active and you can just paint with light color to remove it so that's it for this tutorial i hope it was useful if it was subscribe like the video leave a comment visit my channel and that's it for now bye